Hello and welcome back to the Green Sage. Today's, or welcome if this is your first time being here. Um, today's video will be your 7-7 portal serious light way messages. Um, if you're not familiar with that portal or the serious um, gateway, there's lots of videos here on YouTube that you could check out to get more information about it. But a gist of it from my point of view is that um, this portal a long time ago was seen as basically, you know, our gateway from between us and the heavens. You know, being able to really, to have a clear vision of our path ahead and um, what we need to do in order to create the lives that we want. And it's an opportunity for us all to really get into alignment, um, to really put ourselves into a new position in life for us to call in the things that we maybe feel were taken from us. That could be financially, that could be in terms of our health and relationships, that could be, oh, I just said relationships, you know, just whatever we felt that we was taken from us. Now is the opportunity to align ourselves to receive what was taken, what was lost tenfold. And this portal is really giving us all the opportunity to really um, have those crystal clear intentions on what it is that we need to do in order to achieve the lives, the prosperity maybe, that we want to achieve. Sevens um, in numerology are the highest spiritual number there is. And it's, you know, really tapping into our intuition, really tapping in to the divine and sinking in. And sevens are also a very lucky number. So if we play our cards right over this seven seven portal, we can be very lucky. We can manifest some very lucky things for ourselves. Um, if we are doing that inner work to release the things that no longer serve us, right? So I wanted to make this video to give us all some insight on how this 7-7 portal um, is trying to help us. And yeah, trying to help us to achieve the things that we want to achieve. So I will show you your pile options. The timestamps, as usual, will be listed in the description box. Once you choose your pile or multiple piles, you can find your timestamps in the description box and then fast forward to your messages. Pile one is Seraphim's Gateway, Voice Activation, Angelic Attunement, Divine Support. Pile two is Venusian Galactic Council. Star being guides, answer the call, time to shine. Pile three is Emerald Tablet Activation. Cosmic Ordering, Divine Alchemy, Conscious manifesting. As I said, choose the pile or multiple piles that resonates with you. Um, I haven't explained how to do that in a while. So if you are new to tarot pick a card readings, you're going to choose based on your intuition. It could be a card that just, for me sometimes, um, it's almost like I see a light radiating off the card, or I might look at a card and it gives me a certain feeling. You could even just choose simply by the card that you find the most attractive at the time. 
that is also your intuition guiding you, you know, on which card to choose. You could choose by going any, mini, miny, mo. However you choose to do it, it's the right way for you. And your spiritual team will always to guide, always, always to guide, right? Always guide you to the messages that you need to hear at this moment. So with that said, I'm going to get started with pile one and I will see you at your selected piles. Hello, pile one. If you chose Seraphim's Gateway, Voice Activation, Angelic Attunement, Divine Support, these will be your 7-7 seven, seven portal messages. I feel, I will read the book. I actually just um, treated myself to these cards today. I always treat myself to new cards. Um, <laughs> when I need a little pick me up, but just with these wings, it makes me think of, you know, like a butterfly. So you're definitely transforming. And this gateway is, I feel like giving you, it's making me think of NASCAR. So like, you know, just very quick forward movement to bring these transformations in. If you are open to them. It will be activating your throat chakra and how you use your voice, maybe helping you to speak up more, um, to go after the things that you want in life. And you're being so supported during this time. Let's read the book for you. See what else they have to say. Okay. All right. It says your message. You are blessed to receive the light of the seraphim. Know that these beings of infinite light are singing your name in the heavens to unlock the power of your own voice. Angelic support surrounds you at this time. Know that you are safe for you are being held by the presence of love. The seraphim are witnessing the glory of your being and activating your angelic qualities. You care deeply about the welfare of the planet and all her beings. In fact, you are hoping to make a great difference in the world. And the reason, reason for this is you are carrying angelic light. Let it shine on the world around you. That's so beautiful. Maybe there are things within your life that you have felt that you have could not speak up on or you were afraid to speak up on for fear of judgment or fear of retaliation or maybe you stopped speaking up because of those things, because of the judgment and the retaliation and just not being understood. This gateway is helping you to finally be understood it's helping you to reclaim your power, I want to say, so that you can spread that angelic light that you were placed on this earth to spread. It's really, um, it's creating the pathway to put you into alignment um, with the people, places, things that need to experience your light. And I'm getting the tingles as I say that, so yes. You're being, it's like you're being uh, picked up from one, one version of your life and placed into another where people will, be, will listen to you and care about what you have to say and see you as this angelic, beautiful, wise soul that you are. But let's look at the rest of your oracle card, shall we? Okay, your first card out is scarcity. I feel like this is what I was feeling where you may be used to speak your voice or try to 
try to be yourself in past situations and you you could have been mocked for it um whatever it was you just were not appreciated you were not seen for the beauty that you are and this 7-7 seven, seven portal is helping you to release that scarcity release um that victimhood that past situations placed on you that caused you to be more fearful about speaking your voice or you know that well yeah whether whether that was you used to speak up or not something i feel made you not speak up as much as you should and that is what this 7 7 portal is coming in to help you heal and and release so that you can step into your your power next card out is abundance i am limit i am limitless being i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality with the root chakra. There's a part of you that has been ungrounded and that part is the abundance part, believing that you are worthy of abundance, believing that abundance will come to you. That's that scarcity that's being released. Maybe somewhere along the way, someone, something, some situation made you feel as though you were not worthy, as though you were not enough, as though you were not smart enough, pretty enough, I don't know, kind enough, whatever it is, not enough. And this 7-7 seven, seven portal is helping you, I want to say, to reclaim your worthiness of, of not only knowing what you deserve, but not being afraid to speak up and claim what you deserve. Your next card out is Breathe, Archangel Raphael. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. During this time, you're really being called to breathe, to meditate, to focus on your breath, to breathe through situations even, because I feel like the 7-7 seven, seven portal, like I said, I was seeing NASCAR, um, getting the chills again, um, just very fast, very um, chaotic almost, but it's all, a, it's a good chaos, and you might want to fall back into old patterns and self-medicate or hide yourself away, and you're really being called to stay strong and breathe through it. Because on the other side of this is victory. On the other side of this is the reward and rec recognition that you've deserved all along. You just had to go through some tumultuous events to learn some lessons. I just saw 1331 on the clock. That tells me as within, so without. As you find peace and calmness within during this time, you will also begin to see it without. As you find see your abundance within yourself, become grounded in your abundance and who you are, you're also going to see it manifest outside of you in the 3D form. Your next cards, yep, chaos and conflict. Didn't I just say chaos and tumultuous? And look, you have... 21 reduces to a 3. You might be interested in looking up angel number 33 and master number master number 33 as well as angel number 333. There may be some messages there for you, but what that tells me is that you are coming into alignment. Mind, body, spirit. You're coming home to yourself. That's what this 77 portal is making happen for you, right? This is you trying to fit in, trying to be this giraffe when you're really a zebra, being afraid to show your stripes. And this 7-7 portal is going to rearrange all of that. 
if you allow it to. And if you do allow it to, abundance will be waiting on the other side for you. It's going to be scary. It's going to be... You might be fearful. You might want to fall back into some old patterns, some old habits, old routines. But you're really being called to persevere through that. To let whatever is trying to fall away out of your life to fall away. To release the real you underneath. So that you can finally shine your angelic light the way that it was always meant to shine. And your final card out is Yen, card two. This is you, the seven seven portal, like I said, when or when I keep saying if you allow it to, this is you really needing to allow it to happen, to just be in your receiving feminine energy of allowing things to happen as they are meant to happen. Do your manifestations, focus on those. And allow the universe, where should I put this? <laughs> and allow the universe to do the rest of that work of bringing your abundance into you, activating your voice. Um, I would say you could, you would also benefit from doing some root chakra meditations and some throat chakra meditations during this time, but just really remembering to meditate and breathe. Um, to not run, not run away from whatever is trying to change in your life over the 7-7 portal. Um, I did not mention, but the 7-7 portal is happening on July 7th. And this energy, I feel, we will be able to feel it um, until the next portal, which is the 8-8 portal, the Lionsgate portal, on August 8th. So over these next um, few weeks, while we wait for the next portal, it's, you know, lots of energy coming in right now, lots of fast moving forward action coming in right now. Please try to go with the flow. Please allow yourself time out to breathe. Um, take time to yourself when you need to. There may be memories from the past coming up. There may be situations that try to put you back into this scarcity energy. This could be situations where, you know, other people are maybe trying to project their energy onto you and make you feel as though you are in the wrong somehow, even though you tried to live maybe a spiritual life, be a good person, right? Be caring. Even this card talked about um, how deeply you love the earth. You might receive some pushback during this time. Whatever pushback you receive, it's happening so that you can recognize it, heal it, and release it so that you can step into your full power. So pile one, these this is how the 7-7 portal will be affecting you and how you can work through it and what you can expect on the other side of it. Really do some um, manifestations during this time, whatever it is that you felt that you've been lacking within your life, whether that is love and relationships, finances, adventure, whatever it is. Write it in your journals. Um, you know, do any sort of spell work that you might do, but really just make it plain. Set those clear intentions as to what you want when you make it out on the other side of this. And watch it manifest for you. So if this video resonated with you, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, I have opened up a few spots in my calendar. The link is in the description box. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your energy with me. And I hope to see you again soon. Love you so much. Goodbye.
Hello, Pile 2. If you chose this Venusian Galactic Council card, these will be your messages. We have Star Bang Guides, Answer the Call, Time to Shine. This 7-7 portal is trying to help you to finally shine your light. Shine bright like a diamond. That's been coming up in a lot of my readings. So if you've chosen, um, if you've watched another reading where I've said that, please leave a diamond in the comment section. This is just further validation that this is what um, the universe is trying to bring in for you. The Ven Venusian Galactic Council are with you. They are calling you to answer the call and to step into step in, into who you're meant to be, to shine your light because there's something about you that is unique, that is wonderful, that is meant to be shared to help elevate the vibration of the earth right now. I'm going to read this card for you. It's brand new cards. I just got them myself. Super excited. I thought they were perfect. Um, they are actually the gateway of light activation. So I thought they were very perfect and very fitting for this reading today. So I, I was drawn to buy them. Okay. All right. It says your message. This is a call to action. You are being asked to step up and create the changes you want to see in the world. You have a reason for being here and you have the potential to inspire, support, and heal your corner of the world. Don't let this information scare you or overwhelm you, for you are being prepared energetically to step into this role. The ideas you have been having recently are divine downloads, but you aren't being called to make dramatic changes to your life simply to move forward step by step. The Venusian Galactic Council will reveal more information to support you. Be aware of downloads of information and spiritual signs, for they are confirmation that you are on the right path. So, you've been receiving downloads. You've been receiving messages from spirit, and you might not even realize it. Uh, from this moment going forward, I would say to, if you have a thought that pops into your mind that is something new that you haven't thought of before, know that that is a download coming in from the universe and to pay extra attention to it. Maybe even write it down. These thoughts may not even make sense to you at the time. My heart chakra is lighting up for you right now, so... I know that I'm on the right track with this. They might not make sense to you. Write them down because the star being guides will reveal more information to you over time that connects all the pieces. It also mentions signs. You may be experiencing lots of signs and synchronicities right now. Um, and it will be even more prevalent, I feel like, over these next few weeks or so. Um, so the 7-7 portal is happening on July 7th. We will feel the energy a few days before, and I feel like we will continue to feel it until our next portal, which is the 8-8 Lion Gates portal on August 8th. It's, I feel like it's going to be a whirlwind of a time for those of us who are spiritually um, inclined and trying to better ourselves and make those necessary changes to improve our lives. Not saying it's going to be bad, but there could be some experiences that you might see as bad, but you're being called to really um, have balance during this time and to recognize the duality to all things, right? It's not good or bad, it just is. And it's all a learning experience. Someone needed to hear that. Okay, so your next Oracle card is worthiness, 
14. This 7-7 seven, seven portal is helping you with your worthiness, of feeling worthy, of knowing your worth. It's very important for you to know your worth um, because without knowing that, you cannot shine the way that you are meant to shine. That, okay, is making me think of the um, real life version of Mulan. You may like that movie yourself. You might want to go watch it because there might be some things in it that resonate with you. But there's a part where Mulan is fighting with this witch and the witch tells her that um, her chi is dimmed because of the lies that she's telling herself, the lies that she is living because she's not, um, you know, she was pretending to be a man in the army um, to be accepted and get that respect, right? And I feel like that's a message for you. There may be ways that you are pretending to be something that you are not. There may be ways that you keep dimming yourself down in order to fit in with everyone else. And you're not meant to fit in with everyone else because you are supposed to be the light. You're supposed to be a leader. Oh, that's the wrong book. <laughs> you're supposed to be a leader. And this 7-7 seven, seven portal is helping you to realize your worth. This says, you matter. Worthiness is in your veins. Accept yourself now. Your birth certificate says that we need your overflowing magic, joy, and vulnerability. And most importantly, we need you. You are deserving and worthy. The beautiful parts of you that everyone likes are worth loving. The parts that you or others dislike are worth loving too. Your creator loves you unconditionally. Goddess declaration, I matter. I feel like over this period of the 7-7 seven, seven portal, keep telling yourself, I matter. Make that your living prayer. I matter, I matter. You know, um, I matter in situations where people make me feel uncomfortable and it's okay for me to speak up about that. I matter, um, I don't know, when it comes to sharing the knowledge that I have because I am very wise, right? I matter in terms of taking care of myself and putting myself first sometimes. Tell yourself those things. I feel like self-care will be especially important for you over this time. Um, get yourself a massage. Treat yourself, you know, go buy yourself something nice if that's what you want to do. Um, just make sure to take time out to play. I think that will be very important for you over this time to not focus on work, to not let stress creep in. I mean, stress comes, right? But to also make sure that you find a balance within that and you take care of yourself and you go out there and do the things that will make you feel good. Take a long, hot bath. Um, I don't know. Watch if you have a partner and you always let them choose what to watch on TV. Maybe you choose this time. You know, simple things. Eat, take care of yourself physically, right? Get enough sleep, eat healthy, drink enough water. Really just loving yourself and treating yourself the way that you would maybe treat your child. Treat a child. Just really nurturing yourself over this time, I feel will be very important for you. And demanding that of the people around you also. Your next card out is grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. The 7-7 portal might 
remove some things from your life and that may cause grief and with that root chakra there that might throw you off balance you're being called to not allow it to to see the divinity in all things to know that all things happen for a reason to find still be able to find gratitude even through the grief i want to say and not to let it consume you and overwhelm you over the seven seven portal you speaking up for yourself and putting yourself first might cause some issues within places and if that's the case then that is just signs from the universe that that was not meant for you to begin with it was not worthy of you and the beauty that you are it was not worthy of your shine you're being called to really try not to hold on to things that are trying to be that may be leaving your life during this time. Understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Just because also, just because you lose something doesn't mean it stays gone forever. I just got the tingles when I said that. So um, that's a very important message. It doesn't mean that it's gone forever. Your next card's out. We have Clear Cognizance. Archangel Uriel, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. The 7-7 seven, seven portal, your star beings, the star being guides that are around you, the Venetian, Venusian Galactic Council, they are sending you clairvoyant messages. And I feel like they are also amping up your clairvoyant I said clairvoyant. Okay, well, your clairvoyant and your claircognizant abilities, they are amping them up. Um, and they will also be sending you clairvoyant messages. <sighs> really pay attention to your thoughts right now. Try to remember to think positively. Like this card says, losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Stay grounded. And but also know that these thoughts and ideas that are coming to you are answers to prayers that you have already prayed. They are the answers that you've been seeking to make whatever change you've been wanting to bring in happen in your life. You could be wanting to make more money, right? And you've had a hard time feeling worthy of it. You've maybe felt very blocked from making that money. You may re receive some ideas on business ideas or creative ways that you could make more money. You could receive messages about people in your life and how, how they may or may not treat you. Pay attention to those. You could have been asking about someone in particular Pay attention to those thoughts and ideas that come into your mind over these next few weeks. Your next card out, wow, Claire Sentience. Archangel Rockwell, notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Your in intuition, your um, intuitive abilities are getting an amp up this portal if you allow it to happen, if you stay open to receiving. You're going to be receiving so many messages. You're going to be receiving thoughts and ideas as well as physical and emotional feelings. Like I get the tingles a lot <laughs> when I know that there's something important um, or when there's a message coming into me, especially with on my crown chakra, right? Um, 
but also just thoughts of if you have thoughts of sadness or anger right you might be receiving memories um thinking about memories from the past that made you feel unworthy memories from the past of, of grief could be coming in those are coming in so that you can heal them and release it because those are the things i want to say that are dimming your light that are making you feel not worthy in some area of your life. Your final card out is come to the edge. 36 reduces to a nine. You're being called to take a leap into the unknown, to have no fear, to take that plunge. There will be some guidance. I'm getting the tingles as I say this, so I know it's very important for you. There will be some guidance that comes in where it might um, tell you to head in a certain direction and you might be very fearful. It might be fearful because you might have to leave some things behind. It might be fearful because it's just completely unknown to you and you you know, don't know what to expect on the other side. But take that plunge. Take the plunge. I'm going to read that card for you too. 36. The nine tells me that you're being propelled to a new beginning. Um, the nine is, you know, comes before the 10, which is the death and rebirth. It's the end and the beginning. This seven, seven portal is ushering in an end of a cycle for you and i feel like for you it's the cycle might complete closer to that 8 8 portal on august 8th i'm going to read the relationship message and the prosperity message for you because i feel like there are some relationship messages here it says it's scary to be truly intimate with someone to allow him or her to see all of you especially the parts that you've kept hidden and protected now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, say what you hope for. This is not, not the time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You will be glad you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step toward the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire prosperity message says if ever there was a time for you to take a leap of faith into the unknown it is now this is the perfect moment to take a big risk the unknown is the only choice now and if you come to the edge you will discover treasure beyond your wildest dreams allow your courage to lead you in spite of your fears you don't need to know the exact form of what you're going for the essence is much more powerful and spirit has a way of delivering an even better version of prosperity than you could imagine. Take that, le take that step. The results will be amazing. That's basically what I've been saying, what I've been feeling. That's whew, such an amazing energy for you, pile two. You are worthy of what the universe is trying to bring into you. And I feel it could be, actually, I know it's some relationships, whether you're already in a committed relationship or not, it could be, um, you know, a best friend, it could be um, that soul tribe that you've been wanting, but it could also be a romantic relationship. It could also be, like I said in the beginning, in the intro to this, it could be money. It could be, you know, a new job, a new career might come up for you. Pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to your intuitive feelings. Know that you are being guided by a whole freaking council. 
by a whole freaking council. You are so loved. You are so held. And you are so worthy of what is coming in for you. Try not to have any fear. Try not to mourn what needs to fall away. And like I said, just because something needs to fall away now does not mean it is gone forever. So pile two, if this video resonated with you, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I hope this gives you some insight on what you can expect over these next few weeks or so and how to, how to deal with it, how to make it through. And I hope it gives you something to look forward to on the other side of this portal. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your lovely energy with me. And I hope to see you again soon. Love you so much. Goodbye. Hello, Pile Three. If you chose, if you chose the Emerald Emerald Talit tablet, I cannot speak. I need some water. <laughs> if you chose the Emerald Talit tablet activation, these will be your messages: Cosmic ordering, divine alchemy, conscious manifesting. I'm feeling like your heart chakra. Is going to just be super lit, super open. And you're going to be receiving some activation within that area. As I said in the beginning, this 7-7 portal is helping us to reclaim the things that, you know, we've maybe felt were taken away from us. And that is that cosmic ordering coming in. Balance is coming back into your life, and I feel like it's, it's really strongly around your heart space. You've maybe experienced a, um, a good deal of grief, of pain, maybe loss within relationships, failed relationships. The 7-7 seven, seven portal is bringing balance back to those situations and trying to take you, take you out of this place of maybe not feeling like you have the love and support that you need and putting you into this place where you, where you find that, where you have your people, where you are surrounded by people who get you, who reciprocate the love that you give. I'm going to read this card for you. What is it? Emerald Tablet Activation. It says, your message. When the Emerald Tablet Activation card appears, you are being called to remember the gifts you are carrying from previous lifetimes. Even if you don't always understand how to express them, there is a part of you that knows you hold great power within. This is a special time for you to use that power to bring into manifestation all that you need for your life to unfold in a way that is in alignment with your best interest. All that has unfolded so far has given you the opportunity to learn and grow, even the, the unsettling moments. But you are a master alchemist, with the capacity to take all that was once challenging and use it to create positive opportunities for yourself. As above, so below. All the thoughts you send up to source will, con will contribute to your evolution on earth. You're a master alchemist. Maybe you forgot that about yourself at a soul level, right? Like I said, I felt that there had been some pains, some grief, on your heart you've probably experienced many experiences that took you out of your power that made you feel as though you could not manifest and bring in the things that you 
wanted, that you needed, right? That you felt in your heart that you deserved even. These things all happened so you could learn the lessons and acquire the tools that you will need going into the 7-7 portal and beyond to become this master manifester that you are. The 7-7 portal is going to help you to take all that ish from your past and alchemize that, transmute that energy into all of the blessings that you knew you were always meant for. That's beautiful. Your next card is betrayal. That's that grief. That's that pain that's been on your heart. You're going to, um, those are the experiences in which you felt betrayed. This is even how you've betrayed yourself. You've learned all of those lessons. You've, look, and we have a two there, the balance number. Oh, I'm getting the tingles for you. All of those things served a purpose. And that purpose, like I said, was so that you could acquire the tools that you need going forward to become this master manifester. You've learned the lessons, and now you get to um, make this quantum leap. Um, you know, it's like I said, and I think I said it in the beginning as well, that it's like we're being picked up from one version of ourselves and placed into another version. That's what exactly what's happening with you, where these betrayals and heartaches and griefs, you will be able to look back and see the blessings in them. See all the lessons that they taught you. See the ways that it prepared you for the manifestations and the abundance that will come in for you through the 7-7 portal and beyond. Your next card out is awakening. We just doubled that two and went to a four. You are awakening. You're birthing a new version of yourself. I'm going to read this for you because it always also comes with a mantra for you that I think will be ben beneficial. It says, you are vibrating at a higher frequency, so you see everything differently. This is goddess rising. You are waking up. And once you have experienced awakening, you can never go back to not knowing. Oh, that's how to focus. The path of awakening is not straight, comfortable, or easy. Just like birth, right? Birth is definitely not easy. You have chosen to lift the veil, have a real relationship with the divine. You didn't come to transcend this world while you're living in it. You came here to dig into the soil, plant yourself, and grow. This ascension is your divine purpose. Goddess Declaration, I am receiving and radiating love. You are love incarnate. You are that divine love. And the reason you experience so much pain and heartache and strife in the past was so that you could, like I said before, take all of that and alchemize it, turn it back into this divine love and begin to manifest what it is that you're meant to experience. You know, you've maybe felt like you don't fit in on this world, like people don't get you, like you don't get people. And I don't think you're, you're meant to because you're not like people. You vibe at a higher vibration. And even if you've done things wrong in the past, even if you've, you know, done hurtful things to other people, it doesn't mean that you are not a high vibrational being. It just means that you are reacting to the situations that were placed in front of you. But those were also learning experiences. And now that you've experienced them, you know how to handle yourself and how not to handle yourself. Um, what is how you want to be seen, right? And how you want to carry yourself. You're 
awakening to yourself, to your, to your pure love and inner light. And I feel like you're no longer going to be running from that. You're going to be embracing it. And that is what the 7-7 seven, seven portal is actually asking you to do, is to embrace the love that you are. You may have felt that you've needed to be cold and more calculated and um, callous, like many other people in the world, right? Just to get ahead. This 7-7 seven, seven portal is helping you to break out of that. It's helping you to anchor in the love that you are into this earth by being you and by choosing to do that and living in your power, not feeling the need to compete with other people who honestly, let's keep it frank, they can't compete with you. They just can't. They're not as high vibrational as you are. Once you begin to release that with the 7-7 seven, seven portal, your manifestations will just start to trickle in. Um, I'm getting the tingles all over for you. It's so beautiful. Um, oh, there's a phrase that popped in and it already eluded me, but um, like from a trickle to something, basically like you're going from a trickle of seeing these manifest manifestations rolling in to a waterfall of your dreams coming true. And you will do that just by being you, by no longer trying to hide yourself or change yourself to fit in a world that you don't understand. I hope that makes sense to you. Your next, <coughs> your next card out, excuse me there, is Fearless Love, 25. Reduces to a seven. Look at you, you got a seven on the seven seven portal. Reading. You're being called to fearlessly love yourself and to allow yourself to be yourself, even in a world full of betrayal, in a world full of unhealed people in a world full of people who think that they have to crawl you know on the backs of others to get ahead i i have to read this because it's so fitting with your activation card here i love how this lines up it says you are love and you are worth loving your divine assignment is to remain open to fearless love you deserve to be loved in your language you are worthy of a love that remembers your beauty at your ugliest moments. Don't allow your unhealed past to block your future. That is exactly it with this 7-7 portal. Just because you may have done things in your past that were out of character for you because you felt that that is what you had to do to get ahead, to feel seen, to feel accepted, to feel whatever. Don't allow that to hold you back. We all make mistakes, right? But spirituality teaches us that mistakes are not mistakes. Everything happens for a reason. And those, those things happen to teach you the lessons and to give you the tools that you will need to carry into this 7-7 seven, seven portal. Those things happen to, to remind you of who you are, who you are not. And now going forward, you can make a different choice. And by making different choices, you're going to open yourself up to these manifestations that are going to come rolling in for you. Real love is a sacred contract that says, I am vulnerable and committed. Your heart, like I said, that heart chakra, right, is safe with me. Let's expand our consciousness together. Goddess declaration, I give love, I receive love, I am love. Keep these mantras in your head over these next few weeks. <sighs> you are love. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I feel like this 7-7 seven, seven portal is opening up your heart so that you can allow yourself to be more vulnerable because you're being aligned to some beautiful relationships 
that you've been missing, that you've been praying for. Could be romantic, could be that best friend, could be, you know, your soul tribe. Could even be a beautiful, harmonious relationship within work and career, with money. All the things that have been on your heart, that is what this 77 portal is trying to bring you into alignment with. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, next card out is acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. Beautiful how that lined up. Yes, the 77 portal, 55, 55, 55 on the clock as I say this. It's bringing in so much change for you. And with that change, there may seem to be chaos. You're being called to accept it. Accept. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love to say the serenity prayer because it is, I feel like it's um, the epitome of what the universe has been trying to teach us all, especially this past year. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change, change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. You're being called to accept. Accept yourself for who you are. Accept the past for what it is. Accept people for who they are. Accept yourself changing and awakening and becoming something new. Becoming a new version of yourself. The version that you've probably known deep down, right, was there all along, but you were afraid to be vulnerable and release it in this world that is so hard. Acceptance. Next card out is comfort. Archangel Azrael, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. Oh my gosh, I love how this is lining up. More messages of the heart healing. It's exactly what's going on for you right now. Your heart, they're helping your heart to heal. Be open to that. Accept it. Accept that healing. Over this 7-7 seven, seven portal, there may be memories um, of painful events from the past, of betrayals from the past. There might be even people who you felt have betrayed you popping up. Find comfort in knowing that this is all a part of divine oh oh as divine order. It says cosmic ordering, but yes, this is all a part of the plan to help you heal so that you can release what needs to be released and step into your step into your newness. Step into the abundance that is waiting for you on the other side. Archangel Azrael is with you. If you feel like you're being feeling overwhelmed during this time, I say especially pray to Archangel Azrael. Pray for comfort, for peace, for acceptance. Okay, your final card, your final card is peace, 23, another five, and I saw the 55, 55 for you. This is the change that awaits you after this portal and coming in through this portal. Anything that comes up, any painful memories or experiences that happen over this time, they are coming to help you to be the peace that you seek. To not allow, right, to find acceptance and not allow situations to throw you out of your peace. I'm called to read this card for you too. I'm just reading all the books today. I'm, I'm really loving these messages. 23. It 
says, this is one of those times when you're capable of clear vision. Didn't I say that at the intro? Clear vision about your work and how you create your prosperity. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You're called by your presence to step into your power. Just being is enough. For you are in peaceful harmony with spirit and it shows in your work. Relationship message says, when two people are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. They are as two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours and it is to be savored. That is what awaits you after this portal. That is what you are stepping into. If you've, like I said, if you've been seeking relationship, harmonious relationships where people see you for who you are, accept you for who you are, even at your ugliest moments, that's what's coming in for you. If you are looking to bring in more prosperity in your life in terms of work, that is what's coming in for you. You may have felt just very out of peace in these areas of your life. And that is that cosmic ordering coming into play. Placing that balance, like I said in the intro, where balance is due. I'm so happy for you, Pile 3. So very happy. I'm getting the tingles. Fearlessly love yourself during this time and allow yourself to show yourself for the real you. Don't give in to low vibe energies that try to throw you off your path, make you act outside of your character. All that does is put a blockage on your heart in the long run. Be you. Be your vibrant, loving, accepting self because that's who you are deep down. Awaken to that. Um, cast off the shackles that people, places, situations have placed on you. It's time to lighten your load is what I'm hearing. And to be comforted and have peace. If this video resonated with you, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate you sharing this lovely energy with me and I hope to see you again soon. Love you so much. Goodbye.